Today we're ranking Smirnoff vodka flavors. One is best, six is worse. Let's see which one wins. I've actually never had any of the Smirnoff flavors. Only the original Smirnoff. I did before rehab. Bruh. Oh man, this smells really it's good. nice. It does smell delicious. It yeah. does, right? You smell it? Yeah. Scotty loves a fruity drink. And this smells literally like a candy. So before we drink this, let's give you a little backstory. So Smirnoff is distilled in Illinois, but it actually started in 1864 in Moscow, Russia by a man named Pyotr Smirnoff. Not Smirnoff, but Smirnoff. So by 1914, Russia Russia imposed a dry law forcing Smirnoff to quit selling vodka. So he actually joined an army to help refugees escape from Russia. They captured him and imprisoned him and sent him on a death sentence. What's crazy is his army actually broke in and saved his ass. You'd be surprised what an army of drunks can do. <laughs> Facts. Well, it doesn't help that the guards were probably drunk oh, as yeah. well. Let's yeah. be That's actually why they imposed the dry law because yeah. they didn't want a bunch of drunk soldiers. When I was a kid, we were walking to a grocery store store and a tank crashed into the grocery store because the dude was drunk. In other news, an alleged drunk tank driver hits a house and a shop in a village in Russia's Urals region. Unbelievable. <laughs> Isn't that insane? I've seen dudes like wrestle bears online, so yeah. It, it's crazy. It makes sense. I'd be scared of a, a cat, a stray cat in Russia. Yeah, dude, we're, they're all hardcore over like, there, dude. Like the rats in Detroit beat up cats. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> Gustarov, yeah. Means yeah. cheers. What that guy said. So, it's pretty good. I could drink it straight. I mean, it's super light. This yeah. would be great for mixing, for it, sure. It's not like a, like a syruped mixer. That's the thing, it's not yeah. thick. Honestly, normally just don't drink flavor vodkas because I noticed they do give me more of a hangover. If I drink just clear alcohol, like never get a hangover. But once I start adding the fruity cute flavors like Scotty Boy likes, that's when I come home with the hangover. And it mixes well with my protein shake I'm drinking right now. Homie just got out of the gym. <laughs> He's trying to drink a protein shake. <laughs> And mixing it with green apple vodka. That's a straight laxative right there, brother. Yeah. Where do you want to put this right now? I personally, I think we should just start kind of in the middle. Start at a three and see where we go from yeah, there. Yeah, I'll go three. Yeah. Go to the next vodka flavor. Next up, we got the cherry vodka. I feel like this might be my favorite. You love cherry. I do. I hate cherry. Wow, that smells good though. <laughs> the older I get, the more I realize I don't hate cherry, but when I was younger, I hated cherry. Like, love White Claw cherry. So does my wife. She likes all drinks. She's like you. Hell yeah. Is she a Sag? <laughs> I thought you said something else. Uh, I, don't, I don't know my signs. What, what September year? 1st. I don't know either. I just know I'm a Sag. <laughs> That's all I know. Is his wife a Sag? Let us know in the comments. Oh, I'm a nice. Taurus. Gross. Yeah. Oh, I think your stars are in a line this, this week. I feel your energy. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, vodka cherry, couple yeah. sips, and you don't know what's gonna happen. I this, don't think I like it more. This has more of that strong vodka kind of that afterburn to it. I'm going back to the green apple. It's way smoother. The green apple green is better. better. Before we make a decision, let me give you a few more fun facts. So not only is Smirnoff one of the most affordable vodkas in the world, it's also the best selling vodka in the world. They sell 25 million nine liter cases every single year. That is a lot of vodka, my friend. And they have a whopping 33 different flavors of vodka, which is a lot. What do you want to rate this? Let's go four with it. I think it should go lower. I think it should go to a five, bro. Next up, we got raspberry Smirnoff. I love me some raspberry. It doesn't smell bad. It does smell stronger though. Like the green apple, you don't even smell vodka. No, yeah. It smells like candy, bruh. So what actually makes Smirnoff unique is the way that it's filtered. So it was the first vodka company ever to use a charcoal filter to distill its vodka. And it's filtered 10 times. Let's give this a taste. Tink. I think that is better than the cherry. Mm -hmm. You know what's crazy no. about, you know what's crazy about these? It doesn't feel like you're just drinking straight vodka, right? <laughs> Wrong. You feel like you're drinking straight yeah, vodka. Yeah, absolutely. Right no, it tastes yeah. like a mixed drink that's a little strong. Bruh. I don't know, like these these last two, I taste that kind of burn afterwards. Do you get a burn from this? It just tastes like water with raspberry. <laughs> What do I know, kids? So, you know what's funny about all this, guys? It's not juice with a splash of vodka. <laughs> I don't know if you watched Hillbilly Jim, but Scott is actually possibly allergic to vodka. Facts. Which makes this a really great episode. How did, why did you think you were allergic? Um, because I, I was. No. <laughs> I went years without drinking vodka because it, I had reactions Until you every met time. Me. Yeah, honestly, fairly confident. I warned you I was allergic to it and you did not care. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. But uh, look what I did for you. You're 
throat is not swollen. You're breathing good. I mean, could you imagine? I if made you this were happen like, for you, Scott. I'm allergic to bees, and I'm like, <laughs> and I pushed you into a beehive, right? That'd be kind of funny though. <laughs> Where do you want to put this? I think it's better than the cherry. I don't, but I think they're equally as bad. So the cherry tastes like medicine. Raspberry is gonna go above. Love me some cough syrup. Next up, we got the citrus. Like a fucked up lemonade. Now, that smells pretty fire, dude. It smells like a lemon peel. It smells like or Lysol. Mm. No, that's good. It's bitter, which like helps smooth out the. <laughs> yeah. Love, love vodka. <laughs> it's great. It tastes at the, the first note is lemon juice and then it hits back with the peel. Have you ever like bitten into a peel of a lemon and it has that tart taste? Mm -hmm. It's very tart at the end, which kind of, I feel like hides the taste of the vodka. I wouldn't drink it straight like this, but with a mix of something, I think yeah. it would actually be really good. Yeah, this one you couldn't do straight. I it just tasted the raspberry again and I think the raspberry is much better. Next. I think we should move the cherry down and put lemon right behind it. Are you good with that? Next up, we got the lime. <sighs> that smells better than the lemon, honestly. It smells pretty nice. Another actually. cleaning product, yeah. Did you know James Bond actually loved Smirnoff? In the 1962 film where he said, give me my vodka martini, martini shake it not stirred. stirred, he was drinking Smirnoff. So did most of the girls I went to high school with. Back to the creator, by the way. What's cool about the dude, back in the you know 1800s, they didn't have social media, obviously. But he was like a marketing genius. How he got the brand big and like known is he grabbed panhandlers like you know like the beggars and shit and he would give them food and drinks and say yo I want you to go around all these cities begging for Smirnoff like I need Smirnoff where's the Smirnoff and it made people think Smirnoff was so popular and high demand that they were like out of Smirnoff and people started buying it. his army of drunks he spread out across <laughs> the country <laughs> isn't that sick yeah. though that's pretty smart here bum you take this bottle of Smirnoff and you hit the road creating scarcity he could be yeah. in a freaking Napoleon Hill book Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill, yeah. I just know Napoleon Dynamite. Who's Napoleon Hill? Damn, bro, for real? Yeah. This one is way better than the lemon. Yeah. This one's actually pretty good. Lemon needs to go to last. The lime, the third, and I think that is a good lineup for now. Next up, we got strawberry. This is our final flavor. If we get 100 likes, we'll do another one trying every single flavor. I know that's what I put for the title, but shit, come on, guys. I ain't got time to try every flavor. I got every flavor that was in the liquor store, and I didn't have time to go to like five liquor stores. 33 flavors is a lot. While I'm talking about this, what out of these flavors of fruit, like if you were just eating the fruit, what would be your favorite? Fruit? fruit. It's a raspberry. Really? I love raspberry, yeah. What about you? Cherries are probably my favorite. You like strawberries? Like, I like eating them, but I don't like strawberry flavored stuff. I agree. It always tastes too artificial. Like strawberry gum. Right. I feel like cherry, while you like it so much, it's one of the least artificially tasting. It tastes tasting. the closest to the real thing. Yeah, 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 I agree. Yeah, it has that super strong artificial flavor. It has a funky flavor. smell to it. All right, this, this is the new lineup, guys. Green apple, raspberry, lime, cherry, strawberry, and lemon's gonna take last place. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and remember, stay boozy. Let's get boozy.